Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to see how we can actually update the choice field options and having those choice fields option in a different list altogether and get those updated with Power Automate with the side column settings. So I mean why we want to do, do that because for a normal business users it's uh, it quite uh, tricky to go to the uh, column settings and update and look at all the values if it's a big big list then uh, looking through scrolling through all the values then updating those values could be challenging though like it doesn't sound challenging but for few business users I know like it's challenging to update any values within the choice column field for that what, what we can have we can have a separate list so for example this country list which is holding all the options data and uh, using power automate whatever we are adding to this uh, list that automatically get update to this choice field columns so right now there are five uh, values and we have five values over here as well so if a business user would just add another sixth value and he need not to worry about all these uh, complex step going to the settings then scrolling to the values it will automatically take care of it it will just add the new value to this options so that we are going to see in this demo so i'm just going to my flow and in this flow i'll be just uh, creating one let me just refresh the screen and i'll be just creating one new instant cloud flow and the trigger i'll just skip it i'll use trigger when item is created so whenever an item is created in my countries list then i'll be just want this uh, flow to run in the next step i would be using send http request to sharepoint and that what that does is it will actually fetch all my existing data existing option fields for example all these five values i will be extracting first of all then my new value would be added to this variable uh, to this array and that array will be again passed to my this sharepoint the updated array so that it can hold the updated value so i'm just going back to my flow i'm just uh, choosing my side and in this method I'll be choosing get and in this URI I'll be pasting one URI which I already have so you can see it's API web list get by title so it's my main list and the field I am extracting is the choice field so you must be wondering how how to get this GUID so for that you need to just go to copy this up till field and just duplicate your screen and paste everything in front of dev side the size slash dev then paste everything so it will give you all the fields so all the fields for that list so by this you can just search your location that's my field name so by that field you would able to identify it's a title location type multi choice and the id is this one so this is the GUID. So you, you just can copy and then paste like this so this thing this stuff i'll be pasting in my comments so that you can directly pick the syntax of this test call so i'm just copying this and going back to my flow and under the headers i'll be just putting the standard header except application json or data verb So in this body we are not going to put anything because it's a just cat command we are not updating anything so now we are okay so as i said uh, first step we would like to extract all the existing values so for that i have to initialize one variable of type array so that i can have all my values so i'll just say initialize variable i'll say this variable name is choice array and it will be of type array and in the next step i'll be using compose action just to extract the values from my this request so in the response body we'll be getting all the uh, details related to this field so we have to interpret that uh, 
require a response to get the exact array of that, those values. So I'll be entering this uh, expression output send HTTP is output of this send HTTP request and then from body will be having the data and that data will be having choices and the choice field would give, give us results. So this I'll be pasting an expression I'll be clicking OK. So now this variable would be just uh, this compose action would be just fetching the exact choice field values not the entire body. So in the next step we'll be appending to our existing array and to array and uh, why to append because in first step we got this uh, we actually like uh, set up this variable and in, in trigger we got the newly added country and that we want to append to our existing array so before appending I have to set the array from this compose action so I'll be using set variable and the variable is choice array and this I'll be setting from output of my compose action and now I'll be appending to the same array my title so now we got this uh, or all the updated array variable now we can send the second HTTP request to update to patch with the existing choice column so I am using my site and this time in the method we will be using patch so it will be patching the new values to the existing column so again in the URI I will be pasting the same URI which we pasted in our initial send HTTP action now in the headers again the standard headers all right so now this time under the body will be actually setting that as metadata and uh, we'll be capturing the output of the previous uh, action so that it can pick all the updated value and can do the action for us. So in the results, I'll be just uh, removing this for timing because we did not use that compose second compose action. So in the second compose action before this send HTTP, I'll be just doing nothing but setting this variable, the variable which uh, we got appended. So it's a compose action. In the input, I'll be using our choice variable and in the send HTTP in the results I'll be just using the output of my second compose action so now we are almost done we have we have the trigger we have the first HTTP command where we are extracting all the values and we are appending the values to the existing options choice options and then patching back that value to the choice column so let's save it. Let's just name it date country values. So now we'll just go back to our flow and as well as our list. And now I'll be appending a new country name over here and would like that to appear as part of choice fields in my this location column. So let's just do that. So now it should trigger our flow. So let's wait. It may take 30 40 seconds to trigger that. All right, so it did trigger. We can just go inside the status success. So in compose first action, you can see we extracted out this all the existing values. So possibly let's just choice column okay so possibly we have this uh, all our values over here and in this the output is this one and when we append the variable so it's a new output is this France this appended to the existing variable 
and in the compose 2 we'll be having this updated value as friends to the existing uh, our array and in the send http request we just patched up our new array to our this uh, existing choice column so let's just refresh it and see we have that updated france value in our choice column or not so we have that updated france value in our choice column so that means like our entire flow worked well and we were able to manage our choice option values from a separate list rather than giving a complex ui interface to users and get, let them get confused with how to manage it or maybe like by some some mistake they can delete this column as well so rather than restricting users from going to this list we can just simply a separate list where they can just play around so the entire objective i think like is now clear have a separate list to manage the choice options of your choice column in sharepoint list so if you like this video please drop a your comments and as well as subscribe to channel if you have not yet thank you